for joining. This is the Pit Putanda, and today we are going to be checking a new Fury app, very powerful, designed by SAP, and it is to monitor the material coverage in a very visual way with graphs and also receiving suggestions from the system. So, to check this uh, app, first we are going to review the stock situation in MD04. We enter material X1 and plant set DIB. We click on continue. And here we can check that the current situation for this material is there pieces in a stock, two purchase orders, the first one for three pieces, and the second one for two pieces, and a future demand expected to be of 35 pieces, a forecast demand for 35 pieces. So the balance now is zero the projected available quantity is zero and we can also check this in the fury app here this is the home page of the fury apps so i can go to the search icon and the app that we are going to be checking is material monitor monitor material coverage not an individual segment. So I double click on this app and currently it when it opens the first time it will show a pop-up indicating that we need to enter the plant and the MRP controller combination so, so that the next time it loads it will remember that in settings and will filter the information in accordance to the plant and MRP controller. So currently I only have one material in this plant and this with this MRP controller, but we could add um, more plants and MRP controllers and increase the, the scope of this app. So I can, to do that, we can go to this icon being, being from here, from this app. So click on the icon this will open the MRP settings. We need to click on the MRP settings and this will draw the area of responsibility. So when we click on this one, I can check that my current scope is only for plant set EIB and for the MRP controller Petercito. But I could click on this to add more plants and MRP controller combinations. We could add up to 20,000 combinations of plants and MRP controllers in the system. I am going to leave it like this, only with my plant and MRP controller, and then I will click on OK to continue with this. Currently, here we can check that the first shortage on is blank, and the shortage quantity is also blank. And it is because in the stock requirement list, it is balanced, so I, I I don't know to have here any issue to deliver on time this future requirement. So no issues are here, and that is why it is not showing any shortage date or any shortage quantity. But let's add future demand to check to, uh, how the system monitors these uh, activities. And we have two ways to do to add more future demand or more forecast. We could go to the transaction code. I open here a new session. So we can go to the transaction code MD61. And here enter the material, the plant, and the horizon. And we can also manage versions and the planning periods in the time buckets. So I can click on continue and I get to this screen. This is one of the ways to get to to add more future demand. But before we can go to this transaction, there are some presettings that we have to do at material master level. So first we need to go to MM02 change material master enter the material x1 and go to mrp to tree view and click on continue we here enter our plant set the ib 
And here in a strategy group, currently I have maintained make to stock production. That is why I am being able to enter forecast. Otherwise, if you do not have any information here, the system is not going to allow, allow you. The most common strategy groups are make to stock and make to order. So once we are sure the strategy group is maintained, we can go either to MD621 or we can double click here and then go to the edit mode and I will add 20 pieces for the future demand of the men of the month of July. So I am going to save this requirement. And now I go in the stock requirement list, I will refresh. So there is another requirement for the month of July. And now it is showing a project, a negative projected uh, uh, quantity. Let's check how the application monitors these activities. So we go back to the Fury apps, and if I click on refresh, it is loading the plant and MRP controller. So here we now have information in the first shortage for the 1st of July. Currently, we are on May, so the first issue that we are going to have is on July. This is because of the demand we added in MD621. And the shortage quantity is for 20 pieces. Currently, the graph is not showing uh, any issue. And it is because the horizon, planning horizon, is not far enough to detect the shortage. But we can customize this one by going to this icon, configure chart, and click on this one. It is showing currently 21 days. That is why it is not detecting the shortage in July, since we are currently in May. So we can add more uh, horizon, 44 days, and let's check. So now we have here the shortage showing also in the graph. We could have here more than one materials and select them and go to manage materials and click on manage materials. Currently it's showing only one material but if you have if you had selected more they would appear here and you can manage one by one. The first one shock stock requirement list. This stock requirement list is the equivalent to the previous guy um, screen. We can also have the screen here. It is showing the same, the stock for 30 pieces, the two PO items, and here I have the option, option to edit any of the POs, and the two future forecast demand for 35 pieces and for 20 and the negative balance. We can use this icon to make time buckets and now it will show the two POs in only one line. So it is a grouping the information of the requirements. We can also go to the graph icon and here we can check the, the, the demand projected for 35 pieces for June. And also we can click and hold this bar and scroll right. And we can check here the demand projected for July. If I scroll left, I can check also the previous scope or you can go through you can also scroll right by clicking on the bottom so here is this is on balance the system can suggest those activities to do so if we click on this one we can check and we scroll down we can check that the system 
is suggest in the two POs, it is suggesting that we could increase the PO by 20 pieces in here, in the first PO, or in the second one. And the rating is to start, meaning that the that the requirements will be covered 100%. We could take this uh, advice and click on simulate or click on apply. If we go to apply, it mentions that the current quantity is two pieces, so we the required will be 22. This is we could go for this one or we can cancel and we could create a new purchase order and apply here and now we do not need to increase but we need to create a new requirement for 20 pieces so this is these are the options that the system is proposing is advising to cover the negative projected quantity I, we can we can go back we can go back to the app so I am going to again go to the search icon and enter here monitor material coverage net individual segments uh, so I am going back to the app and I will expand again the simulation and now since we save the purchase order uh, it is not showing any unbalance and if we go back to the stock requirement list we can refresh and check the new PM created since the system. I will add more demand to check other functions in the system. This time for August, another 20 pieces and click on save. I will refresh here and now the a negative projected balance for the month of August. So I, another functionality that we can apply since uh, uh, from the Fury app, I select the material again and go to manage materials. Another functionality here is that we can run the MRP since here. So I am going to start MRP run. MRP run is in progress, MRP run completed, and now I will go back to the stock requirement list. It is currently showing a negative projected balance, but when we refresh, now the purchase requisition appears. So we can either run the MRP, we can also create purchase order directly from the app, and we can receive advices from the system to make the planning horizon of offers and demands balance in the future. Thanks a lot for watching this video.